All right, gonna make another quick video here. I'm uh, basically gonna try to focus on stuff on my videos about stuff I can't find on YouTube. And last winter I decided to build this practice tree and I scoured the internet high and low and all I came up with was one guy who had built a, a decorative tree that actually turned out pretty good, but it was just on a timer and made to hang his man cave. And like I said, he did a, he did a good job on it, but it was, as far as practicality for me and wanting to practice, it was, it was basically useless. And I didn't want to spend, uh, I think a plain one with incandescent bulbs is around 700 and then, uh, led bulbs, you're talking up 11, $1,200. And I had a desktop, uh, practice tree, just a final round four Beyondo. I've had for several years and I knew it was capable of running a full size tree. So I tasked myself with building one and starting out, I was going to make it uh, AC powered. And once I got to pricing bulbs and fixtures, it kind of got silly pretty quick on that. So then I got to where I got to thinking about using the uh, LED blinkers off of big trucks and making it DC powered and then just using AC to charge the, the battery which my battery is just a lawnmower battery and it'll run i really haven't counted rounds but probably five to six hundred rounds on a charge so it's pretty much a non-issue but if you're wanting to use it continuously you can just take a trickle charger on it while you're using it or whatever and uh it'll go ahead and take care of itself but uh just gonna run you through the gist of it what, what i got going on here is uh I used, I think they're three quarter inch LEDs. They were like uh, 10 of them for, I don't know, 10 or $11. They were cheap as can be for your pre-stage and your stage bulbs. And originally I was gonna get some uh, little decals made up to go around them to make them look like light bulbs. But after using it, I'm really pretty content with how everything turned out. So I haven't, I haven't done any of that, but I never realized how many bulbs are on a tree until I wired this thing up. But that's another story, but anyways, so you got eight of those. So like I said, I think they came in a 10 pack and they were next to nothing. And then these uh, three inch bulbs were a little bit higher. Uh, I forget how much they were. I want to say 10 or $12 a piece. And I needed six of those. And then down here to my green light and my clear light, I was originally going to use just incandescent bulbs down there but that ended up not working out with my dimmer setup so i needed to go led and i found these they're a little bit different design but they are significantly cheaper than the other ones i don't remember they're like 10 bucks for two or something like that all the stuff i got off amazon but uh these are both clear and then i bought a small roll of green tint to tint the green bulb and it actually worked out great so the bottom one is your red light and it's red because it's actually a brake light and the the second up from the bottom is a it's a clear marker with green tint on it and it produces a nice green uh, green hue to it and then for my circuitry I have a I've got an on off switch here on the front just kind of tucked out of the out of the way and on the back I'm using little uh, Arduino uh, relay boards that are like again like 10 12 bucks a piece or something like that they don't cost hardly anything and they're totally capable of running i don't i don't know what these leds pull but probably you know an amp or two and uh i wired those up and you're, you're gonna have a, a low current side to run the relay and that's going to come from the practice tree which is what all this super fine wire right here is that's coming from my practice tree to run the ground side because my ground my practice tree runs on the ground which i had to determine that with a just a voltmeter, but these are capable of triggering on the ground or uh, on the hot side. But like I said, this one's ground. So you've got a low current side and then you got a high current side, which is over here. That's what's actually gonna run the bulbs. So I've just got power coming in and then it jumpers to power all the rest of them. And uh, then they go out to the individual bulbs, which I grounded to the, to the actual frame itself in order to save having to run wires back to every, from every bulb back to the main boards, basically to save wiring. So I grounded it to the frame and that, and that works. And until I realized these things are ridiculously bright and literally hurt your eyes and they need a dimmer. So that's when I delved into realizing that LEDs need a pulse width modulated dimmer. You can't just turn the voltage down or they just shut off. 
So I have like a $10 dimmer and uh, when I got to trying to figure out how to wire that up, I realized I had to isolate my grounds from my bulbs so that I could control the ground with the dimmer. So what I had to do there was just run, uh, instead of grounding my battery to the frame, and uh, I forget where the other ground runs to, I think the frame and the board, they all shared a common ground. I had to basically run my, my dimmer ground straight to the battery and make sure there was no other grounds going from uh, from the board to the battery, if I remember right. It's been like eight months since I made this, but that was my issue was realizing I had, I was using the, the frame as a ground to try to save wiring. And then I realized I screwed myself when it came time to try to control the ground side of these relays. But I was able to do it, like I said, by isolating the ground directly to the battery. I think the battery ground runs to the dimmer and then the dimmer actually grounds the frame. So it's actually modulating the ground of the frame of the of the of the uh, tree itself but that's that's about the most i can say about that it's pretty simple i mean if you're going to try to tackle this you need to have a pretty decent idea of wiring anyways and i'm clearly no electrician but i know how to make stuff work so uh here's the back side of those bulbs they're just a clear bulb and like i said they're they're markers on one side and uh brake lights on the other so but like I said, I got that going down my battery, and I just got alligator clips on that. And then I got 25 foot of cord that I got off Amazon too, which I had to buy 50 foot to uh, make it work. Or, well, I had to buy a 50 foot minimum basically, but it's, I think it's got 16 strains. And I needed 14 to control the board because you got pre stage, stage, you know, three ambers, then your green and your red. And it works out to seven per side, which is 14. So you need something with at least 14 strands in it. And the way this tree works, it's made to be, uh, the Beyondo box is made to be powered uh, off the practice tree. So I've got power and ground running to the box, so I don't have to plug anything else in. My tree is powered off of, uh, my practice tree box is powered off the battery that runs the main tree. But uh, I think that's pretty much the gist of it. I was just going to show you that it works. I got power on here. I'll just put it on a demo mode here. And uh, so it's got your full, that's five tenths pro tree, or full tree, that's four tenths full tree. And I think that's five tenths pro, four tenths pro. And then uh, this is blind. And then uh, that's just back to full tree again, but it, uh, I'll do, take one hit here. Oh, I got it on two-player. Hang on a second. All right, as we go. And anyways, I just wanted to show that basically if you have enough patience, you can get this deal figured out. I have about $165 in it. But like I said, I already had an existing practice tree. And I decided I wanted to dedicate this one to being out in my shop and have another one to have in the house. And I broke down and finally bought a the newer uh, next-gen porta tree version, which is absolutely incredible and runs circles around the uh, final round four. But it uh, the final round is going to be dedicated to this tree and it's just going to stay with it. So anyways, I just wanted to pass that on, try to try to keep this video short. And, uh, like I said, there ain't any other video I can find anywhere of somebody that's actually built their own tree. It's a lot of work. And, uh, lastly, I will say that the, the biggest, my biggest complaint is these relays click whenever they open and close. So ideally I would go with a solid state relay, but I have not found a solid state relay that is anywhere in comparison to the price of these relay boards. You know, you're talking 15 to $20 a piece on a solid state relay versus these boards being, you know, $15 for, what is there, eight, eight relays on the board? So if I build another tree, I want it to be solid state so I don't have to listen to them things click. But for now, this one absolutely uh, gets the job done. So anyways, enjoy.